Hey yo, it's Brian here. Today gonna be talking about the San Francisco 49ers as always doing another top three video. This time talking about the biggest news for the week of July 18, 2019 was kind of a big news I would say for one particular player resigning with the 49ers. So gonna be talking about that in a second. Some other things, just some analysts talking about the Niners and how they're gonna be predicting the season of this team. Gonna be talking about that. Should be an exciting time. I have not been commenting back to you guys for the past couple of videos. So if you haven't seen a comment yet, yet i will try to get back to you as soon as possible had some work obligations some personal life obligations to handle beforehand i will be trying to respond to you guys as soon as possible be on the lookout for your comment feed whatever you want to call it on your channels or accounts on google yep there you have it but anyways gonna get the video started before i do please like and subscribe to support my channel that would definitely help me out a lot click that bell notification to get notified of future videos share this channel share this video with fellow niner faithfuls let's just get this video started the top three biggest news for the 49ers july 18 2019 number three pro football focus ranking the niners pass rush eighth in the nfl coming into 2019 i think this is a pretty legitimate prediction argument you could make if you're a niner faithful or if you've just been following 49ers offseason moves roster moves for this team i think it's a pretty legitimate prediction you got new players coming into this team you got rookie nick bosa from ohio state d ford coming from a sign-in trade with the kansas city chiefs both on the edge rusher side that's the biggest position needs we had to address and they did address that on paper hopefully it works out on the field which i believe it will that's good right there another thing contavia street is going to make his debut in 2019 last year he was drafted by the niners but he was coming off an acl surgery at nc state so he's kind of make his return or his debut in the nfl for this year solomon thomas eric armstead DeForest Buckner, the beast man of DeForest. I mean, this is a pretty good loaded roster on paper. And I got to keep stressing that on paper. It looks really good the way it's looking, the way that these talented people can go together on the edge rusher slash defensive line. What can go wrong, really, except injuries, to be honest with you. So, yeah. Another thing is Buckner. He won't be double teamed as much. He has a lot of help now. Next to him, you got either maybe Eric Armstead or Solomon Thomas on the defensive tackle side. And on the right side, you got D Ford, who they can line them up anywhere, any way, whatever you want to call it. He won't be getting all the double teams. He won't be feeling all the pressure just by himself. He'll have a lot of help around him within the line. So I think he's going to have a big monster season coming in to 2019. He's been having monster seasons for the past couple of years, but I think with 2019, all the talent that they have, everything working out, better supporting cast, it's going to be even better for him. Defensive line, I'm excited to see what they can do. I think they could be top five, to be honest with you, the way it's looking at. But pro football focus, they made a legitimate argument for eighth. Can't complain at all. Number two, Peter King endorsing the 2019 49ers. As you all know, King, he is a very respected football journalist and football mind as a reporter, whatever you want to call him. He's pretty much saying everything I've been saying about this 2019 49ers. The thing I've been stressing about is on Garoppolo. Had he played in 2018, we would have had a much better record than 4-12. And, and King is pretty much saying that in his little piece right here. Also, he's a big fan of Kyle Shanahan and John Lynch, which I am a big fan of. Definitely, especially Shanahan. I think he has a great football mind. One of the best offensive of minds in the NFL right here right now John Lynch pretty mixed results as a general manager he's had some really nice hits like George Kittle and other players he's had some big misses like I don't know Solomon Thomas hopefully he's not a big miss but so far he has been Ruben Foster he's not even with his team anymore he's with on a couple of draft picks but for the most part it's been not too bad 2018 was pretty good hopefully they don't have a sophomore slump like the 2017 draft class and also 2019 got a lot of great players especially on the defensive side of the ball and you really need to load up on that they did a pretty good job in my opinion King very high on the 49ers I've been high on the 49ers this year especially with everyone coming back the new additions that they made in offseason and and whole free agency slash draft what can go wrong as i said about the defensive line garoppolo everything is riding and dying with him as i keep saying he's the most important cog to this whole 49er team and if everything goes well with him if he's throwing touchdowns if he's minimizing his mistakes everything's going to be great if not if he's going to mess everything up and have bad games like he did for the first couple of games in 2018 then it's not going to be a great season. I think Garoppolo, he's going to do fantastic for this campaign. Lynch and Shanahan, they did their due diligence to give him everything that he needs and wants for this roster to have a great offense and the defense as well. The biggest news for the 49ers of July 18, 2019 is Robbie Gold finally signing a deal to the 49ers. It took a while. We were all worried about this whole situation. We thought he was going to get traded to the Chicago Bears back home or he just wasn't going to play at all for 2019. But now, this past couple of days ago, he finally signed a deal with the 49ers. It's about a four-year, $19 million deal with $15 million guaranteed. 
first two years, it's all guaranteed. And then after that, they have options and what have you, the typical Prag and John Lynch contract deals that they do with these players, give them half a year or a year or two. And then the other half, they can decide if they still want them or not, if they're good or bad. We'll see what happens. But gold, very important piece to this whole 49er team. We need a reliable kicker. And a lot of people were pretty upset about gold wanting to hold out and what have you. But everything is all good. The air is clear now. We have a reliable kicker. We don't want a situation like the Bears last year with Cody Parkley, or we don't want a Blair Wall situation with the Minnesota Vikings a couple of years ago. We really need a reliable kicker to score mostly extra points and some field goals. Hopefully, he's not scoring all the field goals this year because I prefer touchdowns than field goals. But if we need a field goal, I can pretty much bank on gold making it. That's very good. This whole team is pretty much ready for the most part. Everyone is signed for the most part. I think the only people that need to be signed this whole season right now is Nick Bosa and Debo Samuel. They still haven't. I'll probably talk about that tomorrow about training camp and what have you. Be on the lookout for that. But yeah, gold very important. I'm pretty sure all you guys were happy. I saw some of the comments. I didn't get to respond to you guys yet, but you guys are happy that he got his contract to stay with the 49ers for the next couple of years. I'm excited. I'm pretty sure you guys are as well. Everything is all good. What else can I say? That's pretty much it. You guys wanted to talk about these quick news real quick. Hopefully, it's going to be ramping up very, very soon with training camp coming up next week. Preseason is coming up in the next couple of weeks as well. And then after that, regular season. It's coming really fast. Hope you guys are supporting my channel. That would definitely help me out a lot. I'm going to end the video right here. Any surprises for these news, please let me know in the comments below. If you guys like this, please like and subscribe to support my channel. That would definitely help you a lot. I will be catching you guys up tomorrow on a Friday. I'll see y'all then. Bye, guys. Love y'all. Y'all have a great rest of your day. Go Niners all day.